Honored by your courage and commitment to excellence, know this. Today your mind, body, and spirit will be put to the ultimate test. For you chase glory on this day. Who am I? I swear By all that you hold, on this dear earth, I bid you stand. Sons, daughters of Sparta, stand and fight. For today is the day that you shall rise to glory. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now. One more time, Hawaii, your home. Who am I? I am Sparta. Who am I? I am Sparta. Let's hear it. Who am I? I am Sparta. Okay, so I'm at the airport and Robin's making me film and I don't want to film. And now I'm backlit. <laughs> you can't see me at all. Okay, hi. No idea how hard it is to work in there. <laughs> I am on my way to Hawaii to do the Spartan race. Got my coffee. My feet hurt really bad, and I don't know what to do for the Spartan race. One of the reasons that we chose to come to Hawaii so early was that we really wanted to acclimate to the very different climate of Hawaii from California. One is really hot, the other one's really hot. It required incredibly precise training and focus. It's a really serious, you know, training day today. Day before the race, a carb loaded breakfast, had a pancake with an extra maple syrup because that's also a carbohydrate. Mm, and now I'm gonna do some training and really focus on um, the obstacles and, and uh, my race tomorrow. on a sea urchin. My brother had to pee on my foot, so I don't put my feet down anymore. Does that even work for a sea urchin? I'm pretty sure it's jellyfish. So good. My brother peed on me for no reason. Thanks, lifeguard in Hawaii. Okay, so play in the ocean is beneath, and now we're gonna go for like a pre-race run like thing. Get used to the heat, because my race is at noon. So I'm actually gonna see if I can run right now. It stays like this, this isn't that bad. How do your lungs feel? Lungs feel good. Um, mouth is dry. Which is interesting, I drank so much water yesterday, but I think the six hour flight, I'm still dehydrated. I must have drank two gallons of water yesterday. Haven't had nearly that much today, but I need to um, pick up my water consumption. Because my hands are swollen. <laughs> my lungs feel good though. I took a puff on my inhaler 10 minutes before we ran. I'm gonna do it 30 minutes before, and then right before tomorrow. Legs feel okay. Pretty good. Okay, so it is race morning and I feel very good. Um, I almost didn't. <laughs> Yesterday was a rough day. I don't know what happened. Um, the pillows in the hotel are really thick and I woke up with a migraine and I pretty much had it all day long yesterday. Went to bed really early, got a new pillow from the hotel, but I was like shaking last night. I was coughing. I was practically crying when I went to bed because my head hurt so bad. And I actually feel okay today. I was still gonna do the race uh, regardless of how I felt today because once you say you're gonna do something, you have to do it. So even if I walk this damn thing, I'm gonna finish but I am happy how I feel right now. First obstacle, second obstacle. Robin's race is at 7 a.m. and mine is at noon. So it is 4 a.m. and we are awake because his race is soon. So I am going to take 
um, a pillow from the hotel and try and sleep in the car after his race. I'm really excited. Now I need to stretch and get him through his race because his is going to be harder than mine. And I have to brush my teeth. I still haven't brushed my teeth, but that's okay. He's in the shower. I wanted to do this video with him in the shower so he couldn't hear me because I didn't want him to know how bad I was yesterday. I was really bad. That migraine was really bad. I was a little concerned. And now I feel good. I feel good. It feels like it's it's actually potentially an ear infection. I just gotta get through today and then I can relax. Here we go. I was really excited to get out to Kualoa. Kualua? Kualoa. Kailua? Kua. <laughs> anyway, this ranch is in a valley. It's absolutely stunning. They shot Jurassic Park here, the new Jumanji. It just like, it, it, it's so beautiful. It's so green and lush. And at any moment you sort of thought that like T-Rex was gonna like pop out and like bite your head off. Like I've been awake since four o'clock. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah? Yeah, my race is done. I know. You look great. Thanks, baby. What's happening, people? Once the bun comes out and the pony goes in, it's all business. We couldn't afford Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> I'm vomiting, you guys are not allowed to record me, right? If you fail an obstacle, you must complete the 30 burpees required. Three, zero. Who am I? I am Sparta! Let's hear it! Who am I? I am Sparta! Aru! 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 My cameraman really had a hard time keeping up with me. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow. <laughs> I mean, to his defense, he did run a nine mile race right before. Would have been nice to have a face shot of me, but no, he was fine the whole way. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> found a little towel. It was this big and it had a little clip on it. So I clipped it on and I shoved it in my boobas. And then I dried my hands right before the monkey bars. And I'm glad I did, cause I almost fell. You know that I was terrified of the big cement atlas ball. So I practiced and practiced and practiced. Yeah, it wasn't that heavy, or maybe I was just that strong, but I threw the damn thing. Thank God I carry around this heavy thing all the time because that sandbag wasn't that heavy either. Go, go, go. You're like big bowling ball tubbies. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, 
the ground felt like lava. And I'm absolutely 100% serious when I say this. The heat was coming off the ground. It was the hottest thing I've ever felt. I cut myself. going great until I ran through this little trail, jumped over a wall, and landed right on a rock. Like right here. If my foot was a paw, it was right there. Right there, Happy. That would have been terrible. It was terrible for at least five minutes. Rope climb sucked. I had to switch from a J hook to an S hook halfway through because my upper body strength was gone and my feet weren't sticking on the rope. And then I decided to try and climb two ropes at the same time. This spear throw. This is what I trained for over and over and over again. I worked on my technique. It was perfect. Thanks for nothing, Nancy. You practice and you practice and you practice. Thank God I also practice burpees. Yes. Minds want to know. I got my period four days early, so it was over by the time I got in the mud pit, which is awesome. I also promised you guys that I would try the K-cup, or the Dixie cup, or the cuppity cup cup that goes in your vajujo. I haven't done it yet. I'm intimidated. I'm a freaking hypocrite. I know it. I'm sorry. I'll do it. I promise. <sighs> At least my period came early, so I didn't have to worry about it. That wall was slicker than snot. I tried it the first time. It slipped right down. I tried it the second time. And then I just kept sliding down it and water was pouring out of the rope. You try to run it just trying burpees? So instead of standing there trying it 10 more times and wasting time, I figured I can do burpees faster.
I chose to do burpees. Sentence I never thought I'd hear myself say. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yes. Sixty burpees, man. I do a lot of my own stunts. I know how to make a fire jump look like a total badass. B.S. That's the look of fear. Complete, total fear. Where's my stunt double? You did awesome, baby. You did so good. <laughs> oh, you did so good. I'm not going to figure it out. That was awesome, man. You killed it up. I can't believe I missed that. This is fair. Yeah. And then the slip on the It was so slippery. I hope you had a good time. I did. That was hard to shit. I'm just about to finish it. I'm so dead right now. Second place, how do you feel? Fucking tired. I want to go jump in that cold shower really quick. Let's do it. I'm gonna cry. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I can't believe I got stuck at. <laughs> there were so many incredible athletes out there. These women are amazing badasses. Dude, you were amazing. I was behind you, and I kept going like, man. <laughs> As long as I can see her somewhere, but you were like so far in front of me. I kept seeing you like, I mean, you were so far in front of me. What did you do? Um, I don't know what my time was. It was an hour and two minutes? An hour and two. Oh, so it's a good time. So, it's yeah. good time. You remind me someone, but I don't know who. Uh, I, I am one of those faces. Hi. <laughs> you remind me someone because I'm watching a, a movie about with, uh, in Netflix and you're the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sure. I'm watching you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is the girl I'm watching every day. <laughs> so, so you are on the podium together. Hi. Yay! Hi. I'm Katie. I was Hi. like trying to pace myself on you guys, but oh my god, you're so fast. Oh, you're amazing. So so fast. Oh, you did the burpees? I did. I did burpees oh, twice. Wow. The, the spear oh. throw and the. Isn't it like suck ball. your soul? Oh god, it literally like I almost threw up. 35 39. Welcome up the Hawaiian Crystal Morris, third place honors, second place, 
goes out to another fellow Hawaiian. This time, it's Catherine and Sackhoff. So, I'm dead. Um, that was, I kid you not, the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire effing life. But I just kept going. Like, even when I had to do those burpees, I just kept thinking to myself, just keep going and I thought I was gonna die. But I feel like such a warrior right now, and I'm really happy that I did it, and like, it's nice to get second place, but even if I'd not, I was really proud of myself. I, Cause like, there was a point in the race when I honestly didn't think I was gonna finish. I was so tired that I wanted to just cry and stop, and I didn't. During that time when I was doing the burpees, and you would do 10, and 10 was excruciating, and the fact that I had 20 more to do was just like, there is no way in God's green earth I could have done that. That's the thing that I learned from this, and with challenges in our lives, that we think sometimes that something is too hard, and it is incredibly difficult, but you just keep going, like just one burpee. All right, you did that, now do one more, now do one more. And I think that that is sort of like a metaphor for anything in your life that you want to accomplish. Listen, this was hard for me, but there's something that's hard for you that is individually hard for you. So don't compare yourself to me. You compare yourself to yourself and just one foot in front of the other, just one burpee at a time, and then you finish. It's been a great trip. This is beautiful, like, come on. I don't think that there's any place in the world that is this beautiful. My goal is to get my sprint under a minute and to run a clean race. So that's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna be here uh, getting rid of these knots in my legs so I can actually get out of bed. If you enjoyed that and love to see me in pain, <laughs> please subscribe and tell me what you thought. Okay, bye.